The Law of One Unabridged Transcription A Contact Between The L and L Group and Registered Trademark and the Social Memory Complex Known as Raw Session 33 I am Raw I greet you in the love and in the light of the One Infinite Creator I communicate now Questioner In our last session you cautioned each to look well to the vital energies necessary for non-depletion of the instrument and the contact level did that mean that we should that Jim and I should look at the instruments or be careful of the instruments vital energies or be careful of our own vital energies? I am raw. Each entity is responsible for itself. The mechanics of this process taking place involve firstly, the use of the physical bodily complex of third density with its accompanying physical material in order to voice these words. Thus this instrument needs to watch its vital energies carefully, for we do not wish to deplete this instrument. Secondly, the function of the supporting group may be seen to be firstly, that of protection for this contact. Secondly, that of energizing the instrument and intensifying its vital energies. This supporting group has always, due to an underlying harmony, been of a very stable nature as regards protection in love and light, thus ensuring the continuation of this narrow band contact. However, the vital energies of either of the supporting members being depleted, the instrument must then use a larger portion of its vital energies, thus depleting itself more than would be profitable on a long-term basis. Please understand that we ask your apology for this infringement upon your free will. However, it is our distortion understanding that you would prefer this information rather than being left totally to your own dedication distortions, deplete the instrument or deplete the group to the point where the contact cannot be sustained. Questioner. Can you give us advice on how to maintain the best possible condition for maintaining contact? I am raw. We have given information concerning the proper nurturing of this channel. We, therefore, repeat ourselves only in two ways in general. Firstly, we suggest that rather than being, shall we say, brave and ignoring a physical complex weakness distortion it is good to share this distortion with the group and thus perhaps, shall we say, remove one opportunity for contact which is very wearying to the instrument in order that another opportunity might come about in which the instrument is properly supported. Secondly, the work begun in harmony may continue. Harmony, thanksgiving, and praise of opportunities and of the Creator, these are your protection. These are our suggestions. We cannot be specific for your free will is of the essence in this contact. As we said, we only speak to this subject because of our grasp of your orientation towards long-term maintenance of this contact. This is acceptable to us. Questioner. Thank you very much. The instrument is a device for so-called color therapy, and since we were on, in the past session, the concept of the different colors I was wondering if these in some way apply to the principle of color therapy in the shining of particular colors on the physical body. Does this have any beneficial effect and can you tell me something about it? I am raw. This therapy, as you call it, is a somewhat clumsy and variably useful tool for instigating in an entity's mind-body-spirit complex an intensification of energies or vibrations which may be of aid to the entity. The variableness of this device is due firstly to the lack of true colors used, secondly, to the extreme variation in sensitivity to vibration among your peoples. Questioner, I would think that you could achieve a true color by passing the light through a crystal of the particular color. Is this correct? I am raw. This would be one way of approaching accuracy in color. It is a matter of what you would call quality control that the celluloid used is of a varying color. This is not a great or even visible variation, however, it does make some difference given specific applications. Questioner, possibly the use of a prism breaking white light into its spectrum and then screening off all parts of the spectrum except that which you wish to pass through a slit and use would be even better. Would this be true? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, thank you. I was wondering if there is a programming of experiences that causes an individual to get certain catalyst in his daily life. For instance, as we go through our daily life there are many things that we can experience. We look at these experiences as occurring by pure chance or by a conscious design of ours, like making appointments or going places. I was just wondering if there was a behind the scenes, I might call it, programming of catalyst to create the necessary experiences for more rapid growth in the case of some entities. Is this? Does this happen? I am raw. We believe we grasp the heart of your query. Please request further information if we are not correct. The incarnating entity which has become conscious of the incarnative process and thus programs its own experience may choose the amount of catalyst or, to phrase this differently, 
the number of lessons which it will undertake to experience and to learn from in one incarnation. This does not mean that all is predestined, but rather that there are invisible guidelines shaping events which will function according to this programming. Thus if one opportunity is missed another will appear until the, shall we say, student of the life experience grasps that a lesson is being offered and undertakes to learn it. Questioner, then these lessons would be reprogrammed, you might say, as a life experience continues. Let's say that an entity develops a bias that he actually didn't choose to develop prior to incarnation. It is then possible to program experiences so that he will have an opportunity to alleviate this bias through balancing. Is this correct? I am raw. This is precisely correct. Questioner, Thank you. Then from this I would extrapolate to the conjecture, I will say, that the orientation in mind of the entity is the only thing that is of any consequence at all. The physical catalyst that he experiences, regardless of what is happening about him, will be a function strictly of his orientation in mind. I will use as an example, example deleted this being a statement of the orientation in mind governing the catalyst. Is this correct? I am raw. We prefer not to use any well-known examples, sayings, or adages in our communications to you due to the tremendous amount of distortion which any well-known saying has undergone. Therefore, we may answer the first part of your query asking that you delete the example. It is completely true to the best of our knowledge that the orientation or polarization of the mind-body-spirit complex is cause of the perceptions generated by each entity. Thus a scene may be observed in your grocery store. The entity ahead of self may be without sufficient funds. One entity may then take this opportunity to steal. Another may take this opportunity to feel itself a failure. Another may unconcernedly remove the least necessary items pay for what it can, and go about its business. The one behind the self, observing, may feel compassion, may feel an insult because of standing next to a poverty-stricken person, may feel generosity, may feel indifference. Do you now see the analogies in a more appropriate manner? Questioner, yes, I do. Then from this I will extrapolate the concept which is somewhat more difficult because as you have explained before, even fourth density positive has the concept of defensive action, but above the fourth density the concept of defensive action is not in use. The concept of defensive action and chuckle offensive action are very much in use in this, our present experience. I am assuming that if an entity is polarized strongly enough in his thought in a positive sense defensive action is not going to be necessary for him because the opportunity to apply defensive action will never originate for him. Is this correct? I am raw. This is unknowable. In each case, as we have said, an entity able to program experiences may choose the number and the intensity of lessons to be learned. It is possible that an extremely positively oriented entity might program for itself situations testing the ability of self to refrain from defensive action even to the point of the physical death of self or other self. This is an intensive lesson and it is not known, shall we say, what entities have programmed. We may, if we desire, read this programming. However, this is an infringement and we choose not to do so. Questioner, I will ask you if you are familiar with the motion picture called the ninth configuration. Are you familiar with this? I am raw. We scan your mind complex and see this configuration called the ninth configuration. Questioner, this motion picture brought out this point of which we have been talking. And the entity, the colonel, had to make a decision at that point. I was just wondering, with respect to polarity, his polarization. He could have either knuckled under, you might say, to the negative forces, but he chose to defend his friend instead. Is it possible for you to estimate which is more positively polarizing, to defend the positively oriented entity, or to allow the suppression by the negatively oriented entities? Can you answer this even? I am raw. This question takes in the scope of fourth density as well as your own and its answer may best be seen by the action of the entity called Jehoshua, which you call Jesus. This entity was to be defended by its friends. The entity reminded its friends to put away the sword. This entity then delivered itself to be put to the physical death. The impulse to protect the loved other self is one which persists through the fourth density, a density abounding in compassion. More than this we cannot and need not say. Questioner, thank you. As we near the end of this master cycle there may be an increasing amount of catalyst for entities. I am wondering if, as the planetary vibrations mismatch somewhat with the fourth density vibrations and catalyst is increased, if this will create a slight amount of more polarization thereby getting a slightly greater positive harvest because of this catalyst and in the same way create a more negative polarization and then get a slight amount more negative harvest by this mechanism of transition that is, 
unfortunately, somewhat more catalytic than it would be if the planet had reached a higher state of consciousness. Does this happen? I am raw. The question must be answered in two parts. Firstly, the planetary catastrophes, as you may call them, are a symptom of the difficult harvest rather than a consciously programmed catalyst for harvest. Thus we do not concern ourselves with it, for it is random in respect to conscious catalysts such as we may make available. The second portion is this, the result of the random catalyst of what you call the Earth changes are also random. Thus we may see probability possibility vortices going towards positive and negative. However, it will be as it will be. The true opportunities for conscious catalyst are not a function of the Earth changes but of the result of the seniority system of incarnations which at the time of the harvest has placed in incarnation those whose chances of using life experiences to become harvestable are the best. Questioner, is this seniority system also used for the service? to self-side for becoming harvestable on that side? I am raw. This is correct. You may ask one more full question at this time. Questioner, okay. What I would like for you to do is list all the major mechanisms designed to provide catalytic experience that do not include interaction with other self. That's the first part of the question I'll ask. I am raw. We grasp from this question that you realize that the primary mechanism for catalytic experience in third density is other self. The list of other catalytic influences is, firstly, the Creator's universe. Secondly, the Self. Questioner, can you list any subheadings under the Self that would always that the Self is acted on catalytically to produce experience? I am raw. Firstly, the Self unmanifested. Secondly, the Self in relation to the societal Self created by Self and other Self. Thirdly, the interaction between Self and the gadgets, toys, and amusements of the Self, other Self invention. Fourthly, the self-relationship with those attributes which you may call war and rumors of war. Questioner, I was thinking possibly the catalyst of physical pain. How does this? Does this go under this heading? I am raw. This is correct. It going under the heading of the unmanifested self. That is, the self which does not need other self in order to manifest or act. Questioner, do we have enough time left to ask the second part of this question which is to list all major mechanisms designed to provide the catalyst that include action with other self? Do we have enough time for that? I am raw. You have much time for this, for we may express this list in one of two ways. We could speak infinitely, or we could simply state that any interaction betwixt self and other self is whatever potential for catalyst that there exists in the potential difference between self and other self, this moderated and undergirded by the constant fact of the creator as self and as other self. You may ask to this question further if you wish specific information. Questioner, I believe that that is sufficient for the time being. I am raw. Do you have a brief query or two before we close this working? Questioner, ah, uh, just a minute. I don't think that anything I could ask at this time would be brief enough. Just a minute. Sounds of papers being handled. Yes. There's one question. Is there any difference in violet ray activity or brightness between entities who are at the entrance level to fourth density positive and negative? I am raw. This is correct. The violet ray of the positive fourth density will be tinged with a green, blue, indigo triad of energies. This tinge may be seen as a portion of a rainbow or prism, as you know it. The rays being quite distinct. The violet ray of fourth density negative has in its aura, shall we say, the tinge of red, orange, yellow these three rays being muddied rather than distinct. Questioner, just as a slight appendage to that question, what would the rays of fifth and sixth density look like? I am raw. We may speak only approximately. However, we hope you understand, shall we say, that there is a distinctive difference in the color structure of each density. Fifth density is perhaps best described as extremely white in vibration. The sixth density of a whiteness which contains a golden quality as you would perceive it. These colors having to do with the blending into wisdom of the compassion learned in fourth density, then in sixth the blending of wisdom back into an unified understanding of compassion viewed with wisdom. This golden color is not of your spectrum but is what you would call alive. You may ask one more question briefly. Questioner, then I will ask if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. I am raw. This working as well. You are attempting to be conscientious. We thank you. May we say we enjoyed your vision of our social memory complex drinking one of your liquids while speaking through this instrument. I am raw. I leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth. Then, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai. And Obsession 33.